Hi there folks and welcome to another video. Regular viewers may recall I often refer to my wee local river via village as the stream of my youth. But while that's true, it was not the very first river I ever fished. That place is held by Arbroath's Brothic Burn, which is a decent enough trout stream back in the day. I honestly have not fished this tiny water for over 50 years. It's changed a lot. Trees do grow a bit in 50 years. So will I catch anything or even see a fish? Will fly casting be possible? Will I cope with the rough terrain? Will I be agile enough to dodge any hard bricks thrown in my direction by passing near the wells? Will I survive this folly to cast another day? It's time for a recce, I think. I've got no wrong with me today. I'm just going for a walk to familiarise and reacquaint myself with the river. I'll check it out and see if I think it's worth a try or not, and if so, come back when the weather is suitable. This could be days or weeks depending on the weather. Winter is forecast for return this weekend, so it could be longer than a day or two. Of course, in the wonderful time machine world with video, it all comes out the same. The water level looks fine right now, but all it needs is a few dry weeks and it will be a trickle, so let's hope it's sooner rather than later. This is a very short river that rises in farmland and bog about 4 or 5 miles from our growth, where it drains into the sea at the harbour. Like most Scottish lowland rivers, this one is heavily exploited for industry, although that's long gone now, and the weirs, lades and dams have mostly been removed. Of course, farmers still suck it dry for irrigation during dry summers, but I'm told the fish manage to handle it. There have been a lot of flood mitigation measures put in place over the past few years, with big engineering works to manage floods, floodplains, marshlands and other great stuff. Hopefully that will be a positive thing, it actually looks okay. As you can see in the video, it's a narrow stream and pretty much enclosed by trees. The banks are quite hard going for an old gorger like me, so I'm not sure how this will go. Back in the 1960s I used to catch an extraordinary number of trout here, and some decent ones at that. I have to confess though that most of those were taken on the upstream worm, and I got very skilled at that. During high summer I used to try to go on the river by 5pm and fish for about 4 hours. It was dead by 10. Bad memories. It's a lot busier here these days with popular walking nature who are following the river for most of the way. So with that in mind I'll try to choose a weekday to avoid any crowds of ramblers and kids loving their hard bricks. I'll be surprised if they ever see an angler here. Few people are daft enough. I think the biggest problem here will be finding somewhere at the park. Most of the available spaces of old have been gentrified. And understandably, the residents don't want random boards just appearing and blocking their driveways with cars. So there we have it, a new adventure or rather reliving a 50 year old one. All that remains now is to wait for a suitable day. Hopefully I'll see you soon. Well here we are back again. It's six days later, Friday, no, no sorry, Thursday the 30th of March. And we've had some pretty awful weather since I started compiling this video and doing the introduction. Snow showers, sleet, hail, gales, cold winds, you know what we've had it. I've got a flight of my wife here when I heard that train coming. <laughs> See, it's quite a busy place, this uh, popular nature trail. Anyway, it's not too bad today. And I've rigged up seven, my seven and a half foot glass vision rod, which is a five weight, with a pair of nymphs and an indicator. So I'll try that and see how we get on. Uh, this is very much flying by the seat of my pants here. I've got no idea what's going to happen, or even if I'll be able to fish very easily. 
but there's only one way to find out is go for it and have a have a try now the biggest problem I'm having here is actually getting to the water it's so overgrown I've managed to find a way down and I've got into the burn and it's actually quite decent way in here a gravelly bottom so hopefully I'll get a cast or two just the other side of this fallen tree assuming I'm still flexible enough to get underneath it yeah There we go. There you go, that's my first brotic trout for 50 years. Yeah, not a bad wee thing. Skinny, but a fish. <laughs> I don't think these fish get fished so very often. And I suppose that's officially my first brown trout of the season, the Scottish season. Casting's a bit awkward here. But the wading's really good. Oh, there's another one. They're, they're very small, but they're decent fighters. Ah, and that one's away. And another one. My goodness me, there must be a shoal of them in there. That's a true Scottish wild brown trout. Heavily par marked, beautiful bee thing. Right, let's move upstream a wee bit. This looks like a tantalizing wee pool up here. I think the level of this river is significantly down compared to what it was like when I came here a week ago. Despite all the rain and snow and stuff we've had. Oh, but this pool looks very interesting. Very interesting. It's not very easy. It's a lot of overhanging branches. So to roll it out. Nothing in here so far, which is a, a wee bit surprised about. I 
I would have said this was a dead set, this pool. Maybe not getting down deep enough. Okay, I lost the entire leader in the bottom there. <laughs> Hooked into some of these roots. So that's me rigged up again. But a few more flicks in here. I think this pool is probably just a little bit on the deep side. But I'm not getting down far enough. Mind you, I managed to, managed to hook the bottom okay. So that can't be strictly true. I'll try upstream a wee bit, because I'm just going to get tangled up on the bottom here again, I think. Looks like an interesting bit just the other side of this fallen tree here. So I'll join you if I can get up there. I will join you when I arrive. It's actually quite shallow, but I might get a might be a chance of a fish underneath that tree. There are quite a few dippers on this wee river. There's one just flew out from under the bank here. This is always a sign that it's healthy. They say you. Uh, only get dippers in fast, unpolluted water. I'm not sure, see there's one coming down there, look, whoa. It's probably nested in these walls here somewhere. But I won't bother it. Oh, this is a fair old depth. This looks like a cracking pool here. What an amount of express trains that are going past here. I think that's the main line up to Aberdeen. I'm going to switch it off for a minute. If I fall in here, I want it to be unobserved. <laughs> this is real short line fishing. You know, you're fishing in places like this, you're just waiting on the next snag. But the wee seven and a half foot glass rod is just a bit perfect for here, I would say. I'll take a few steps up. Better choice of fast water. It's a really nice pool. Yeah, again, I saw my other fish in this pool. It looks so good. There's not a lot of flow in the middle of this pool, unfortunately. Bit of a back eddy there. Drifting them down the side of that wall. Well, I had a, an almighty tangle to sort out there. Try a bit further upstream. This nature trail used to be a railway line. And this branch went all the way from our broth 
the fourth or I'm old enough to remember when there were rails on here and I can even recall seeing a trail on it once. <laughs> it's a good indication of how old I am. I certainly feel that old anyway. Trying to get in and out of this river today has been a bit of a task. Oh my god. But still, I can still do it. Then of course there's a lot more people around here than I'm used to when I'm fishing. So you get a bit self-conscious about speaking to yourself. Or people think you're speaking to yourself. Obviously you're speaking to the camera. Speaking to you guys. See. Women out getting their kids for a walk looking at this that strange looking fellow. Chatting to himself down there. <laughs> I should probably feel sorry for me. Anyway, there's a couple of nice runs just up here. I'll try there and then probably call it a day. It's funny because all the fish I've got were all within minutes of each other. Right in one of the first pools I started fishing. And there's nothing at all sense. Strange. Right. I think I go down one of these openings. This looks like an absolutely ideal pool. And nothing so far. What about a leaf? I think it's undersized, so I'll have to go back. Yeah, I really did think I would get a fish in here. All I'm doing is picking up weed off the bottom. Oh, I'm astonished I would have picked up my fish in here. Right, I'll try the other side of this fallen tree. Right, I'll probably make this the last pool I'll run out of try actually. I'm beginning to run out of water. the bottom again, I thought that was a fish, but no. So there you have it. Not much of a video today, I'm afraid, a bit short. But I hope you've enjoyed my wee bit of exploration to the original river of my youth. Funny how hook three fish almost straight away, then not another touch since. Nothing at all. 
but maybe it's still just a bit early in the season so I may come back in a few weeks time, I don't know I'll see it's outrageously difficult to fish what it really needs is somebody to go in with a chainsaw and do a bit of judicious pruning but that's not going to happen Seven and a half foot vision glass, five weight was a good choice. Actually, I could have done even a shorter rod and poking it through a lot of vegetation. But oh my goodness, it wasn't easy fishing that. I mean, from up here, I don't know if you can see that, that looks fine. It's a different story when you're down there. One saving grace is the wading is really good, really safe, gravelly, sandy bottom. So that's one thing. But oh my goodness. See, for an old codger like me, trying to get up and down these banks, it's not easy. But I can realise how old you're getting when you put yourself in a situation like that. one thing is guaranteed to come to every angler and that's immobility through old age. Sorry guys there's no way of skipping it. <laughs> I can tell you I've been getting some strange looks here. The locals, the child and dog walkers are certainly not used to seeing fly fishers on this river. <laughs> most peculiar get yeah, some most peculiar looks and it has to be said some pretty friendly conversations a few good laughs so I'm just going to wrap up with that and sorry the video is a bit short and patchy this time but I hope you've enjoyed seeing something a wee bit different and uh, see we'll wrap it up like that and thank you for watching especially if you've stopped with me this long and hopefully we'll see you all in the next video whenever that may be bye for now